Hello students, how are you? I am your computer teacher Prakash Shivasto. Students, as we have completed second chapter and uh, exercise also and today we will see again the chapters what we have done. It means you can say today we will try to revise the chapter means from first and in the first chapter because first chapter will tell you about the invention what have occurred in the past time before the computer before the today what we see the student let's see again about the first chapter as a revision. Ok student, as the first chapter we were studying about the evolution of the computer and in this chapter we have seen about many machine which was invented by the scientist and engineer in the past time. The, as we know students machine is a such a device which help us in many fields like at home you can see machines or gadget we use in our daily life to complete our work to complete our tasks like a machine like watch clock fan etc we see in our daily life and we use these machines and as we know ki computer the most and popular and very very useful machine today. But in early time we know ki this was not as we see today before the computer many calculators I mean calculating devices developed for the calculation purpose. Their purpose was very common to calculate only because in that time the people used to calculate the things by their fingers, stones and line bones these were the method to calculate the things and before that we know about the difference machine we will see about the abacus also because the first machine we can see here this is the first calculating device which was developed by as a which was uh, you can say developed by the Egyptian that is a uh, you can say in the 3000 BC means before Christ before the 3000 before Christ if we calculate till today to we find approximately 5000 years ago the first calculating device was tablet by the Egyptian but after that the Chinese people modified it and gave the form of here the abacus you can see this is a wooden frame and it is divided by two parts here the first parts we can see here the two beads in all a string and after that in second part there are five five beads here. So, their calculation was uh, you can say according to them easy to calculate uh, by these beads and some are also today is a such a very you can say is such a skilled person can 
calculate very easily and can calculate very quickly than your computer, than your calculator. So, in that time this was developed. So, now this was the first calculating device. Then after we see the Napier bones that was invented by Sir John Napier in 1617. That was made up of bone that was uh, the using of the wood, uh, iron, metal, the mixing of these things made up of here the Napier bones. This was the rectangular rods had numbers written on them. You can see on the screen here, I zoom little bit here, you can see here this was the Napier bones. This was the second device after the abacus because the people wanted to calculate their uh, calculation easily and uh, fast. You know, student, what do we see the gadget today means computers and other things. This was given by only and only the business and trade because traders and businessmen want to run their business and develop their business quickly. They want to do work very quickly by using the such a device which uh, can be done very quickly. So, here this there are some device and after that we see the Pascaline calculators. Pascaline calculator that was the developed by Blaise Pascal in 1642. It was also a rectangular box number were displayed on the rotating wheels and it was a mainly developed for the counting purpose. As I told you, okay, these devices were for mainly calculation purpose. So, here we see the many invention before the computer. Means, this is a great history of our computer machine. And uh, in the Pascaline, we see here the sum R wheel which rotates by the gear, there were some gear to rotate these wheels and these machine were able to calculation 6 to 8 numbers means handle only 5 digit number, but later versions were able to handle 6 to 8 digit numbers. So, this was a calculation in early time. The people wanted to carry their calculation easily and fast. Then after that we see the reference engine. This was developed by our father of the computer Charles Babbage in 1822. And it was designed to do mathematical operation automatically. Means, this machine could calculate the mathematical operation automatically. There was, I mean, no interference of the human while calculation. Mean, this machine could calculate very easily and automatically without the interruption or without the interference of man. And after that, we see the analytical engine. This analytical engine was also developed by Charles Babbage. And as I told about the Charles Babbage, he is a considered as a father of computer. You know ki why do we understand he Charles Babbage is the father of the computer? Because he gave the concept of the memory, concept of the storing your work after calculation. So, this, were, this machine was a, you can say, he was a such a 
brilliant machine in that time because this machine could calculate and as well as save the information for the future. The analytical engine was also developed by Charles Babbage in 1837 and it was the new kind of the mechanical computer that could solve the complex calculation including multiplication division. And this is a basic part of the analytical engine resembled the components of the simple computer that uh, had a 5 units input, output, store, mill and control here. This, this uh, uh, machine what do we here see about this machine? We get today also because input, output, storing, processing we find today. So, this, this was the analytical engine who gave the concept of the computer and after that we see the many as a good computer and many advanced computer we find after that. And uh, now student let us see about the generation of the computer also here the generation of the computer means uh, we can know about the com about the computers one by one its development we can see here its size its its modification its uh, uses and the such kind of the computer which was used in the uh, different development the first generation computer was developed in the 1940 to 1958 and this computer used only vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes um, you can say ki such a kind of the bulb which used to work computer. You can see this is here the vacuum tubes here and it calculate the data in milliseconds. Calculated data means you can say this was the high speed to calculate because in that time computer understand only the 0 1 and the user had to operate the computer in 0 and 1 only. That was the very difficult to operate the computer. That is why the common people could not carry their calculation, carry down their calculation. In that time, the engineer and scientist used this machine only and in that time, the speed slow and uh, consume the large amount of energy and in that time there were two computers electronic computers that in that time that was the ANIAC and UNIVAC. ANIAC electronic numerical integrator and calculator and UNIVAC universal automatic computer. So, these were computer were developed by J. K. Erkert and John Muchile. And Yek de was developed by these both engineer in 1946 and Univac also developed by these two engineer in 1951. The student we see after that the second generation computer. In second generation we find here the such uh, such a computer which uh, were smaller in sign smaller in size than the first generation computer and this computer used transistor instead of vacuum tubes means now computer got the smaller because of the uh, the main element that was the transistors instead of the vacuum tubes and for input and output uses the punch card and magnetic tapes the, and the speed were faster than the first generation and it was the cheaper and more efficient than the uh, first generation and these they are, these are name of the some computer which was uh, invented in the second generation IBM. 1401 you can say 1401 
RCA501 and Honeywell 200. These were such a computer invented in the second generation. We find about the third generation computer uh, which was developed in the 1964 to 1970. And in this third generation we can say it was the remarkable time of the computer because in this generation IC was used in the place of the transistor and one IC hold the you can say 1000 transistor in one IC. It means the capacity of the computer increased it were more smaller than the first and second and output input first time use the keyboard and mouse and in this generation the high level language also used. So, these were the features of the third generation. Fourth generation we find here the starting from the 1971 to till present here. They were, I mean they are more powerful, they are more powerful and reliable than their previous generation computer because in this generation microprocessors used and microprocessor very large scale integrated circuits which contain the IC on a single chip, many IC can contain in a one single chip and they use the keyboard, mouse, scanner and so on for the inputting and outputting like speaker, printer, plotter uses in the fourth generation and they have high storage capacity and the example of the fourth generation IBM, PC, Apple, Macintosh operating system. Okay, so in these uh, the fourth generation and the rest part uh, student I will tell in my next video. The students keep learning about the chapters what we are giving you by online and uh, every day try to learn something new from every subjects. Okay, thank you students, thank you for watching.